What's the chow chow chows? Anton Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Scarlet Indigo Disc Let's Play. In the last episode, we joined the BB League. And today, we are trying to find our way through Crispin's trial to, uh, uh, to try and get, um, you know, uh, a battle with him. And to do this battle, we need to get a super spicy sandwich together using ingredients that we trade for. So this is going to be rather interesting. Okay, see, yeah, I don't have eggs. I need to get eggs. In order to trade with you, I need eggs. I have jalapenos. That's the one thing I do have. I guess I can beat you and get potato salad. I don't really need potato salad because potato salad is not a spicy ingredient. I was thinking more along the lines of, I don't know, some chorizo, some, you know, jalapenos, like hot chili sauce. Those are the things that I would have kind of find spicy ingredients for. Ah, you missed your stone edge. Right, I'm gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna Luna cr crush the uh, camera up to get rid of the camera up. Nice. Okay, another Zen head, but does really nice damage to this thing. I don't like that, but I'm okay. Because another Zen headbutt kills you. Nice. There we go. Now we have potato salad. And you heal my Pokemon. Nice. What do you want for mayonnaise? Okay, but I'll borrow you for mayonnaise. I gotta put Sunny at the bottom of my party. I really gotta put Sunny at the bottom of the party because this is. This is sort of uh, not Sonny's domain. I mean, we took down the pyro. Strongbow. And I'll Luna Crush. I have a Spiral as well. Okay, cool. Lower your special defense. Nice. Have it for voice. Gonna do. Actually, that did quite a bit of damage. But I'm okay. Now 
Nice, critical hit. Pyro down. Okay, now I have three ingredients. Does that mean I can see what you guys have? These. I have three ingredients. Man, I've got a hankering uh, for some um, of that potatoy stuff. You're going to eat it hot and cold, you know? Hand over three ingredients. I'll hand over three ingredients. And it's just for that. Okay. Potato salad. There you go, three ingredients. Okay, I've got onion, cucumber, and a bushido. Oh wait! I know someone who needs I know someone who needs cucumber. What you got for me? Let's see. If you answer a trivia question, I'll give you free ingredients. Okay. What do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? Uh, mayonnaise, isn't it? Yep, the answer is mayonnaise. You've got five star knowledge. And here's your prize. Three whole ingredients at once. Eggs, oil and olive. Eggs, olive oil and vinegar. And I have some cucumbers to spare. Can I trade you for some chili sauce? What do you want for your jalapeno? I'll give you a super spicy jalapeno if you give me some. I have some of those. I have those things. I can get mustard. for vinegar. I don't need marmalade, I need mustard. I have eggs. Oh, do I have to reach some? I have ingredients. I want to start. Okay, so I want uh, those on my sandwich. Uh, like no may I don't want mayonnaise. I want that and that. Is that a spicy enough sandwich for you?
Yep, yep, he's on fire. <laughs> A tasty Joanna original. I can tell your spicy souls would. Uh, I can tell the spicy souls of the world all agree with me. You put some spicy ingredients to good use. Me? I could have handled something a bit spicier, but it's good, still good. You know about me? And that means you pass my elite trial. Yay! I made a super spicy sandwich and I cleared the trial. Yay! I'm going to enjoy the tangle on tingle on my tongue. Let's head back to the plaza. Well, that about wraps up our trial, so now you will face me in a battle. You're prepared to take me on, right? Uh, no. Yeah, let me do some prep work. Just a smidge of prep work is what I need to do in order to, uh, in order to do this. I mean, I could... Uh, go and get an entire water type team, but I don't really have. I don't really want to do that. I mean, I could go and get uh, criminal out of the box, but now nah, I think I think we should be okay to just face him with uh, a strongbow. Yeah, I'm prepared. Let's do this. So, Joanne, I take it as history between you and Kieran, right? And it sure seems like Drayden's cooking up something fishy, too. Gah! Everything's got super complicated. Can you just cover it? Uh, can, can't you just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to do something, just do it. I'm not that kind of guy who just wastes time sweating the small stuff. I battle because I want to battle, and I. And you know what? That's how it should be. I'm Crispin of the Elite Four. In this uh, Sylvana Biodome. Um, I want to win. That's exactly what I'll do. Okay, so you start with a Rotom Heat and a Fletchinder. Uh, I mean, Talon Flame, sorry. That's just the middle evolution, isn't it? Okay, and one of them's holding a Focus Sash. Oh! You play a Sun card. So me having a water type team here would be off. We actually wouldn't really work that well. Okay. Can I try a power gem? Because that should do more damage to the talent flame, right? 
you can't sunny day when sunny is already in play Okay, so that's uh, town flame down. Oh, you don't have an entire fire type team. Here's me thinking you don't have an entire fire type team for me to fight. Okay, so that gets rid of the road of heat. Oh, you're sending. Oh dear, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. And right, I'm a little scared of this uh, executor now. Wow, this thing's so bulky. And it's got a solar beam. But it's solar beam floaty. Why are you solar beam floaty? You do realise that would really hurt a Strongbow if you'd actually hit Strongbow. Come on. Protects, damn it. Just as I decided to double team him. Did I do nothing this turn? That's annoying, but not really much I can do about it. I mean, thank you for staying alive, Felody. But you're going to die to burn, aren't you? Yep. Sorry, Floaty. Uh, let's go to Madman. Right. I want you to liquidate the camera up. I want you to ice punch the executor. Oh, you can't. You have a citrus berry. Okay, we got rid of the camera. Out. And because... Oh, you're a harvest set. Okay, there's Magmorda, that's your ace. I mean, thank you, Trongro, again, for toughing that out for me. Ice punch, nice, takes you down to the red. But. Yeah, that's going to take you out. Damn it. Come on, Ham. Dig the mag mortar and you ice punch the executor. Right. 
Okay, we got rid of the executor. And a blazer cut. Oh, terrestrialization on the blazer cut. That's going to hurt, isn't it? Yep, that's going to hurt. Tempest Fire. I guess I'm going to trust Trolasolize Ham here. Oh, that hurt. Okay, ham cured my the burn, thank you. Oh, I get one shot by that. I mean, Dick does some. Uh, Dick does nice damage. Kill Cleo. Kill Cleo. I guess it's all down to you, Ham. There goes the sun. You're very fast already, so it doesn't matter. Focus Blast is going to miss because I'm, I'm digging. And that kills. Nice. Wanted to win, but they lost. Woo! You know, that was amazing. We cranked the heat up in it all the way up, oh, man. I love battles. I love cooking because they're both so easy to understand. In battles, you either win or lose, and in cooking, your dish is either spicy or not. Simple, right? But right now, I'm in the mood for... Uh, the mood in the league club is, well, so frustrating. I wish 
I knew how to get it back to being the fan club it was before. But hey, hey I didn't mean to douse the flames. You're really strong, Joanne. Let me see if I can transfer the heat from our battle to my frying pan. I'll whip you something, whip you up something great. Can you hear my Pokemon too? Ooh, TM207, Tempest Flare. Okay, say, so, uh, all I can do is crank up the heat in the BB. Crank up the heat in the BB League, Joanne. I will. Yo, champ in the making. That's uh, uh, that's one elite four beat. Things are looking good for you. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of his charm, you know? We used to chow that. Uh, we used to chow down on Crispin's cooking after all our activities, but those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the things too, in his own way. You just might, you might just be uh, the one to shake things up in the league club. Take this from me. Good luck with the rest of the guys. Okie dokie. This league club thing is hard, but it's okay. Right, so... Next is the... Uh, next is the Creighton Plaza, which gives us the steel type. Or we can go to... Uh, the coastal plaza and get the fairy type or we can go to the polar plaza and get uh, Drayden's badge uh, Drayton's badge which is the uh, dragon back uh, which is dragons Do I have anything that deals with fairy types? I, mean, I could bring out James, but no, I want to do this with my team. Not my league, not my league mons. I want to do this with my team, my team. Do you want to poison tail? No. Uh, start, smart strike? No. I want a very powerful fairy. I can't learn toxic spikes. Iron head. Ooh. Okay, I can learn iron head. And you can learn Heavy Slam. A 
anything else I can get myself whilst we're here. Toxic. No one can learn it. I thought like everyone could learn toxic. That's like one of the benefits of toxic. Acid spray? No. Okay, I guess we're doing this with just that one move. Just Iron Head. Okay. So you allow me to evolve my slow bros into Galen slow bro. Cool. And slow king. Sure. I've got fifty point. Well, I've got a hundred points, so I can afford that. Coming. Oh, it's you, Joanne. I'm glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please allow me to show you my trial site. Thank you for challenging the Coastal Plaza. I'm coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. I'm very sorry for the protest you enjoyed protesting you joining the league. Of course, it's true that this is uh, quite irregular under the bylaws of the uh, school clubs. But uh, mainly, I didn't want you to be dragged into the drama that's um, uh, troubling our club lately. I suppose my tr our trial has already officially begun. So let's have some fun. Our trial is... The trial that I have come up with is a Pokemon quiz. You will have to answer five questions about Pokemon in order to pass this trial, all right? Yeah, sure. That's a Pikachu. Question one. All right, here we go. Let's look at everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu. Here to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon, well known for producing electricity from its body, uh, within its body. But which part of the body stores it as that electricity? Okay. The cheeks. Pikachu stores electricity in its electric sacks in its cheeks. If you uh, poke the electric sacks, you'll get a little shock. But don't think uh, they're super. They're just super round and cute. Now then, let's move on to the next challenge. Okay. Take a look at this Venonat here. It's bigger than you think, uh, but would it... Uh, ink it would be, isn't it? But it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. Anyway, question number two. Even on the darkest nights, Venonats are able to use a certain type of body, a certain part of their body, like radar. It allows it to detect shining objects. Which part of Venonat's body looks like radar?
eyes. Ding dong, that's right. Eight. Venonat's big eyes serve as radar. Isn't Venonat even more adorable now? You know how it sees the world. All right, question three. What we got for me? Synesthes. Getting wary of my quiz? How about a cup of tea? Or three? Synesthes siblings. Here's question number three. Synesthes uh, like to live in precious ancient uh, antique teacups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. How can you tell which cups are genuine? Um, this, I don't really know. Like, there's a way to... That one. The mark on the, mid, on the bottom of it. That's how you tell it's real. Yeah, it's the mark on the bottom of the cup. That's how you tell it's a real synesty. But it doesn't... It doesn't matter there... Uh, antique f foam or phony foam uh, antique form or phony form they're so damn cute now then are you ready for the next question yes question number four this is Minior the meteorite Pokemon it comes in many different colours you know I'll, uh, go. I'll first to ask you uh, to take a good look at this pesky minio, uh, pinkish me minio for me. Oh, it's that one. Yeah, you didn't really do too much moving to like, confuse me with that. Yes, Minya are adorable. Right, last question. What have you got for me? And we'll end off this episode with the last question. Granville. Maybe it heard the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's, it's always with me. Question number... F uh, last question. Question number five. It involves Granville here. Granvilles are quiet. Uh, did they... Okay. But tell me this. When I take a nap with my adorable Granville, which part of the body can I use like a pillow? Uh, Tommy. Most Pokemon you can use like a pillow. Uh, if you lie on them, if you lie on their tummy. That's the end of the quiz. We answered all five questions great. Congratulations. I've quitted the trial. Yay! That was easy. Yay! Since you passed the trial, you've earned yourself the right to challenge me in a battle. Would you want to do it now? Um, no, I think we're going to end off this episode first and we'll start the next episode with uh, your battle. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. In the uh, next episode, we will challenge Lucy and get uh, 
our second Elite Four challenge done. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon get to Leza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing for more videos. And of course, if you ring the bell, you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you want to watch some more videos, there should be something in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. But until next time, I have been Lantern Joe, and I'll see you on the next video.